Are you looking for a job? Do you not know what job you should do? Um, many people, all people in the world struggle with this problem. Maybe you are going to start university and you have no idea what you want or need to study. Maybe you have lost your job and you need to get a new job. Maybe you hate your job and you want to quit your job and get a new job. So one way that people do this is the magic of astrology. Now, before you run away and click off and go, uh, Ronnie, I don't like astrology. I think it's bollocks, which means it's not true. Let me back up. This is not a horoscope. I'm not telling you what you're going to do today, that you're going to have a good day and you're going to meet someone special. Horoscopes and astrology are completely different. Horoscopes are made up words in a newspaper and astrology is based on the stars in the sky. And it's a science. Believe it or not, I don't care. But what I want to do is help you uh, find the perfect job for you. So first, I need you to do something. I want you to look at the board and I want you to please find your birthday. All right. Now that you have found your birthday, there's one important thing that I need you to know. If your birthday, for example, is no December 21st, or if your birthday is one of these exact dates, this means that you are on the cusp of the sign. The cusp of the sign means that you're going to have both of these energies together. Have I lost you? So people that are born on the cusp don't have the strongest of forces from each sign, but you're still going to have some kind of influence in your personality. So when we, fought, when we talk about um, astrology, we break the signs down into four basic elements, fire, water, earth, and air. Once you've found your birthday, you're going to know what your element is. If you are a fire sign, so if you are Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, you've got something really special that the other signs don't, and that is action, power. You are dynamic, you're amazing, you're like, woo, let's go, all the time. So, you would be a very good business owner. Um, you would be a very, very good manager. Or you like to be in the spotlight, especially if you're a Leo, and you would be good in the entertainment industry. Um, you are confident and ambitious. This means you do it. No one is going to stop you. You are enthusiastic and you're energetic. This means you have power and energy when some people are sleeping, like me. Um, you do have a problem, though. You don't like small details. So this is why if you're a business owner or a manager in entertainment, you can use your confident energy and you can do a very, very good job. You are very, very good managers because you're good at telling other people what to do. But that's not a bad thing because people will look to you for leadership. So fire signs, you are natural born leaders. It's just how it works. You're lucky. But yeah, you do have some problems. We're not all perfect. I'm not going to tell you about the bad things. We're going to focus on the good things. So if you're thinking of starting your own business, do it. You are natural leaders. You can do it because your brain says, oh, I'm going to do it. Cool. The next one we have is a water sign. Now, water signs are very, very, very emotional. Hmm. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? We don't know yet. Um, but you have a special talent of being able to feel other people's emotions or other people's energies. This can be really, really beneficial if you are thinking of being a psychologist. So you're helping people figure out what's happening inside their brain. Um, a therapist, if you're helping someone who's in having problems in their life 
and also any kind of charity work. A charity means an organization that relies on people's donations or money to operate. So Greenpeace or um, UNICEF, that's a charity organization. So you would do well with charity work because water signs are very supportive, which means they like to help people. They're very nurturing. Think about your mom. She cuddles you and takes care of you. Very compassionate. You have a lot of passion because you want to help people. And you're sensitive. Uh-oh. Do you think sensitive is a negative word? Sometimes it can be. If you are sensitive, it means you can feel what other people are feeling. But if you're too sensitive, that's a bad thing. And you become too emotional. So, because your power is emotions, you can be really, really moody. <gasps> moody means that if you are sad, you're not just a little bit sad. You are so sad that everything's tragic and you're depressed. It's always a negative way to be moody. It means your mood changes. So if you walk into a room and everyone's sad, you're going to feel the energy from those people because you're so sensitive and you're actually going to become a little sad too. Don't you wish you had some fire to help you out of that? But it's a good thing because you can help people that are in need. So also being a nurse would be a good job for you, especially cancers. <laughs> um, earth signs. Your special power is you are reliable. If I ask you to do something, you're going to do it. And I can always trust you. You're very trusting people. So Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, you are earth signs. Oh, our water signs are Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So if you're a water sign, you're one of these. So back to the earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Think about the earth as being very solid or stable. So you're stable, stable people. You are good engineers. You're good at developing someone else's business. Our Leo's over here. And you'd be very good as an administrative assistant because you like detail. It doesn't bother you to sit down at a desk and do a job completely until it's perfect. You are very determined and patient. This gives you the ability to have an office job where other people like these guys could never have an office job because it feels like a cage. Um, there's one problem with you though. You do not want a job that you have to have a risk in. A risk means there could be a big problem and you lose your job. So risky or taking a risk means that you don't really care what happens. You're just going to try it. Oh, oh no, hell no, not for you guys. You need the stability of a job. You need to work for a company, but because you are so hardworking and patient, you're going to do the best job that you can. And this is an amazing thing. Hmm. Hey, if you guys are looking for people uh, to, to work in your office, ask people when their birthday is. If they're a, an earth sign, go for it. <laughs> um, and the last one, air. <sighs> your special power is communication and talking. Many, many, many famous actors and actresses, they're Geminis. So, Geminis. Libras and Aquarius, your special ability is, we say, the gift of the gab. You can talk. You can entertain, but you can talk. Sometimes too much. Really? So, um, because you are very, very good at speaking, you are really, really good lawyers. Because lawyers like to talk. <laughs> You're also very good actors and actresses, as I said. But because you can think so well, you're a very, very quick thinker. You're adaptable, which means you can change when you need to. And you're very creative. You're really, very really good scientists. You're good at inventing things and thinking of new ideas. That's your creativity. Um, 
architects and designers also are really, really good because it gives you the ability to be creative and to think about things that no other people really can because you've got your special brain. Um, you have a problem with authority. You don't like other people telling you what to do or how to do it because you're doing it your creative way. So when you're thinking about what job you want to do, think of your strengths. Think of the things that you're good at. Be careful of your weaknesses. Um, water signs, you're not going to get a job in an office with people telling you what to do. But for earth signs, go ahead. It's cool. Um, if you're a water sign, you're going to want to be with people. You're going to want to help them. Uh, you're probably not a good manager because you're moody. And fire signs, go get them, tigers. You're there to help us, to guide us. And mm, just be careful. We're sensitive people. Bye.